Gaza's supermarkets are full of food from Israel. The country eased its blockade of supplies into the Strip two years ago. But an Israeli court has now forced the government to publish a 2007 report looking into how much food Gazans need to survive but not starve. That is unacceptable under international law because it targets civilians as a means of putting pressure on militants, in this case the Hamas regime. Israel says there's no reason to be alarmed by the report because aid groups also work out how many calories people need. The document we're talking about uh, is meaningless because it was drafted for internal discussions and according to the Minister of Defense it wasn't even discussed, let alone implemented as policy. The report calculates the minimum number of calories required for every age group and different amounts for men and women. It found Gazans need 2,279 calories every day to avoid malnutrition. And it would take 100 trucks into Gaza every day for five days of the week to supply this. But some human rights groups say when the report was written, supplies into Gaza were falling well below this minimum. This is a clear confession that this was a systematic siege and they know that they are making people's lives difficult. It's clear this was a collective siege which aimed to humiliate us. The talk about not letting us starve isn't true. They didn't allow enough food, construction, equipment and everything was in short supply. Israel says the study was a draft to make sure there's no public health crisis in Gaza. But in 2006, an Israeli government advisor was widely quoted to have said, the idea is to put the Palestinians on a diet, but not to make them die of hunger. There's plenty of food available in Gaza now, but because there aren't enough jobs, most people can't afford to buy it. Nicole Johnston, Al Jazeera, Jerusalem.